It's one of the most high-profile murder cases in Houston. Susan Wright kills her husband, and the narrative plays out in dramatic fashion during her trial inside a Houston courtroom. I remember covering that trial back in 2003. Now fast forward to today, and Susan Wright has been released from prison. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live in Tomball tonight. And Brandon, she was released from the Gatesville prison north of Fort Hood this morning, and then she made her way to Tomball, where you are. Did she say anything as she entered that new home? As she did, Chris, it was a very brief conversation, very briefly, simply put, Ms. Wright wants privacy for herself and her family. Please don't do this to my family. Please stop. Have a heart, please. 16 years after her conviction found guilty of killing her husband, please Susan stop. Wright heart, is home. Please. Certainly. Is there anything that y'all would want to say? No, ma'am. I would just like privacy. Please respect that. Wright asked for privacy just as she arrived some three hours after her release this morning from Gatesville Women's Facility. Wright was granted parole in July. She will be monitored through a GPS tracking device. She must seek counseling and anger training, have a job, not leave the state of Texas, and register in a special needs offender program. I wish you nothing but the best. Channel 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss represented Wright pro bono during her appeal, got her sentence reduced from 25 years to 20. The fact that she's being released today, I couldn't be happier before. January 2003, Northwest Harris County, Wright, a wife and mother of two, tied her husband Jeffrey Wright to the couple's bed, stabbed him 193 times, buried him in a hole in their backyard. Two days later, Wright made a domestic abuse report, although within a week, she turned herself in. That's when her first attorney revealed Wright's truth, the deadly attack, self-defense after years of beatings at the hands of Jeff, including being kicked punched and emotionally abused. The couple had been married four years. Ron White Sr., Jeffrey's father, wept as he testified during the sentencing phase of the first trial as his family sat through judicial theater, including a reenactment by then-prosecutor Kelly Siegler of how it's alleged Wright killed her husband. Yeah, that was a very dramatic scene seen around the world. In fact, it was recreated in a 2012 movie about this case on Lifetime. As for the conditions of this parole, she will remain under parole until February of 2024. Live for you tonight in Tomball, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.